Welcome back to Odyssey News. I am Mike Odyssey, and you've reached the Odyssey News segment where I talk about three topics here in the Nintendo world. And when it comes to Nintendo, you know, we have some news that just kind of make you go, you know, in that area. Or there are other topics where you make you go like, wow, this is amazing. So guess what? I think this is the latter. This is amazing news. First, we'll talk about a Minecraft game that is coming to Nintendo Switch on April 18. Second, another game has been announced, finally coming out for Nintendo Online. And third, we have some information on the next-gen console currently being in production right now. Let's get into it. Welcome to the Odyssey. Hit the like, press play. You're running with the squad. I see no play. Drive like Mario. We before we get too deep into this video, I want to remind everybody that we are on the way to 20k and we will be giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED Splatoon Edition or Pokemon Edition at our 20k subscriber milestone video. All you got to do to enter is subscribe and turn on that bell for notifications. Let's move on. When it comes to buying gaming chairs, one size does not fit all. Trust me, I know. I can relate to this guy right here. That's why Ewing Racing offers you five sizes in gaming chairs so you find the right one for you. So don't settle for that one choice of big box stores or the Amazon tab. With Ewing Racing, you'll find the perfect chair for you. But Mike, what does this all gonna cost me? I'm glad you asked. This $229 chair, using code Odyssey, you get it for $183. But wait, if that's still not enough for you, on top of my Odyssey discount, you can actually buy now, pay later, split your payments into four interest-free payments with no credit check, and get the gaming or setup of your dreams right now. Now tell me if that's not the best deal you've ever heard. So if you're looking to get a cutesy setup like this or a rad setup like this with E-Wing, everybody wins. Links down below, use code Odyssey at checkout. First up in the news, we have Minecraft. Yes, yeah, who remembers Minecraft? Who, who played Minecraft as a kid? Go ahead, raise your hand if you played Minecraft as a kid, because I know I did. So Minecraft is actually releasing a brand new game on Nintendo Switch on April 18. But Mike, there is already a Minecraft game on Nintendo Switch. It's been released like 10 years ago. No, I'm talking about a brand new game called Minecraft Legends. Now, Minecraft Legends, Nintendo had this, this premiere, this kind of event yesterday where Nintendo, uh, not Nintendo, Microsoft revealed that on Nintendo Switch, it'll be available on April 18. This game will also be available on Game Pass and other um, places before, Xbox, PC, and everywhere you can probably get the game, probably mobile as well. But yeah, if you were looking forward to Minecraft Legends coming on the Nintendo Switch, well, it's coming in April 18, this spring season. So as you pick up your basket with your Easter eggs, make sure you put that copy of Minecraft Legends in there and start playing it as soon as it comes out. Let's move on to the next piece of news. Next piece of news is GoldenEye is finally arriving on Nintendo Switch. I mean, who could believe that GoldenEye finally is making it to the Nintendo Switch? I know Nintendo took the opportunity to announce this game yesterday because also Microsoft had their event, and I'm pretty sure they were going to announce it. So Nintendo just Twitter dropped this from out of nowhere saying GoldenEye 007 arrives on Friday. This is friday for nintendo plus expansion pack so yes you do need to have nintendo plus expansion pack to play golden eye 007 and you say mike uh if, if, if golden eye is coming also for xbox what is the difference why should i get it on xbox and why should i get it on switch well let me explain golden eye on xbox will look better right it'll have uh hd uh like an hd texture pack or something like that but yeah, it'll, it'll be like the HD version. On the Switch, it will not be the HD version. It'll be the same exact version that released back in the day, but it will be the only version to have multiplayer where you can play with your friends and family members wherever you are. Yeah, like if you wanna play with me online, we can play Golden Golden Eye together. Nintendo Switch plus expansion pack is the way to go. If you could care less about playing online multiplayer stuff, and you just want to just to look the best, right? Get that HD quality game. Then go ahead and get over to uh, Microsoft Xbox and play it on Game Pass. Because if you have Game Pass, then you don't, you don't have to pay extra to get it. And then there you have it. So 
That is Golden Eye 007 coming out Xbox and on Nintendo Switch. Which will you pick? right down below in the comments. Now I wanted to do an honorary mention before before I get to the main topic of the news. I wanted to do an honorary mention here for uh, you know this thing that was revealed also yesterday and it's Jack specific reveals a Super Mario movie themed toys. I want you guys to pay attention to this. Look at this face. Look at this face. Look at this hand. Look at this plunger. What do you guys think about this? Because I'm 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 having I'm having trouble. I'm having I'm having trouble. Um, I, I don't know what to think about this. I mean, look at Peach. She looks brilliant. She looks amazing. Luigi looks like Luigi, right? And look at Toad. He looks amazing with his little pan. I'm not sure what he's cooking there. And then he has his backpack and all this stuff. But Mario, Mario, what's wrong? What's going on with you, Mario? Why? Is, 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 there's something wrong with in, in his his in his pants area here. Also, his belly, the plunger. Uh, seems a little off color. I guess they wanted to kind of save colors and they mixed that same pink color with the uh, you know peaches dress there but um, I I'm gonna leave it there. Let me know what you guys think about this this uh, Mario there Why does he look so puzzled? Why is he holding a plunger the way he is at wow looking at you at the same time? That is just that's just I, I, I don't know what to say about this Let's just move on to the last piece of news that has to do with the production of the Nintendo switch console Okay, so here we have Nintendo Switch 2 rumored to be in production in 2023. Currently being in production, and this comes to us by uh, 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 this this Japanese tech journalist. Okay, um, it, it's it's what's translated because I don't speak Japanese, you know. So his name is actually uh, Zenji Nishikawa, and he's a Japanese prominent tech journalist. Means that he's basically been around for a while. He is very trusted in Jap Japan, and he is in Japan where Nintendo is as well. So they might have more information than we do here in the US. But he just shared some really good information for us. He just gave us some very exciting information. And, and I want to share this information with you, but then I'm going to tell you something out there for Nintendo Switch users that will make you feel better at ease. And you don't have to worry about if you just bought a Switch, you are good to go. Well, let's go ahead really, really fast and read into this news it says here is a nintendo switch 2 going to be released this year zenji nishikawa is a prominent japanese tech journalist reported nintendo was moving forward producing a console in the latest issue of famitsu the tokyo-based video game magazine nishikawa informed readers of movements within the company and suggested there might be a release of nintendo's next gen switch within the next 12 months now let me go ahead and pause right here because he didn't say 2024 he said within the next 12 months we are in the month of january as as this news is coming out and within 12 months puts it january to january um, 2024 right so most likely within 12 months could this mean a holiday 2023 release i mean that makes sense to me if nintendo just re just kind of reveals it at e3 on the big stage right there in front of all of us then makes it on this uh you know for this christmas holiday as as, as the the big release but let's go ahead and read a little more here it says i personally think nintendo will make some moves in terms of new hardware wrote nishikawa i got the news that a super VIP person from America, semiconductor manufacturer who seldom comes to Japan is quietly conducting a personal visit to the company. The company's products have also been used in Nintendo's game consoles in the past. So according to Game Revolution, some beloved Nishikawa was referring to is the NVIDIA Corporation Technology uh, CEO, okay? So basically, they that person that was visiting japan very quietly for the semiconductor units or whatever and these people were from actually nvidia the people who actually uh produced the, the 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 chip that's currently inside the nintendo switch which is which is the tegra x chip here and uh here we have this news stating that nintendo is currently in production to produce the next gen console and I believe it. I, I, I really do believe that this is the time uh, for Nintendo to... This is the year for Nintendo to announce 
to announce the next gen console and maybe release it you know there's i think there will be no difference whether nintendo releases this year or next year i think the outcome will be the exact exactly the same as it will be and um i want to just go ahead and switch over to nintendo switch users right now nintendo switch users if you bought a nintendo switch you uh, a, uh oled a light uh, the, the 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 base model you have nothing to worry about for the next couple of years i would say up to five years because I, in the beginning the first two to three years nintendo will release dual games at least for the first party games okay i can't speak on third party um games i'm pretty sure that there will be third party games that will mainly focus on the next gen just because maybe the, the next gen has more power more juice to it and who's to say they won't release a cloud version on the nintendo switch of the same game so that's one thing i don't think you have to worry and nintendo will continue to to basically serve the nintendo switch for a while now the nintendo switch shop will not shut down i mean right now believe it or not the eShop for the wii u is still up yeah it's limited because nintendo started limiting it um last year five years into the console right five years into the nintendo switch console nintendo started limiting the nintendo wii u um eShop, but still today if you have money on your nintendo account on your regular nintendo account you can go into the eShop and be under that account if your account is kind of attached you can actually download still buy new games you can still buy games on the wii u so you know that tells you that nintendo is in for the switch on the long run especially because they know that we have so many Switch users, so many current Switch users are still on Switch and will be on Switch for the foreseeable future, including myself, you know? And not everybody will upgrade right away, you know? I have to because I wanna cover it here on a channel for you. But in reality, not everyone will upgrade right away. A lot of people still want to enjoy the Nintendo Switch and, that, and I can fall into that category as well, you know? So there's nothing to worry about Nintendo Switch users because Nintendo is not putting the Nintendo Switch aside. They're not, you know, it's going to stay right there selling alongside the Nintendo uh, next gen console. And proof is that Nintendo is actually ramping up for Nintendo Switch consoles. They're actually making more of them. If Nintendo weren't planning to keep the Switch around for the foreseeable future, then they would not be making more Switches. They'd be wrap, uh, vamping down the production so that they can actually focus on the next gen console but they're not they're producing the next gen console and they're actually ramping up on the net on the current switch console because these two consoles will live side by side for the foreseeable future and people will have a choice whether they want to go with the with with, with the more affordable nintendo switch or with the next gen switch guys this is the part where you guys let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about all this that we spoke about today in today's news and uh, we'll continue the conversation down below. First, I want to thank you for spending time with me here at the Odyssey. And before I let you go, I just need to tell you two very important things. Number one, never, ever give up. And number two, journey on. Peace. We're on a journey Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning to be better